Hey guys and welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a really cool typewriter effect that's really not too complicating, which is really cool. Perhaps you want to create an awesome cutscene where we have the time and the place, all the actions are going to happen, and then the player now has some sort of idea of what's going on. So let's jump straight into the code and I can show you how to do this. First things first, I went onto the great library that is the internet and I picked up some sounds. I had to actually find one of those um, ASMR videos and cut out the, the actual key presses uh, so it sounded really cool so I've got five of them which we're gonna randomize whenever it generates a key and I can actually show you what these sound like here's the first one and let's go number two three four five so they're all uh, similar but but different so when we create a key we randomly generate a number the number is gonna choose one of those sounds perhaps or we can just use some of game makers uh, built-in choose functionality and it's going to actually sound like someone's actually typing it, so that's really cool. Now that we've got that out of the way, I want to create a font. And I'm going to say FNT main. Now, Courier New is a really cool looking um, looking font when it comes to sort of a typewriter vibe. So let's make that 20, anti-aliasing on, let's make it bold. It kind of looks like a typewriter font right over there, so that'll do for now. So let's go and create our object. I'm going to call this one uh, object effect. Doesn't need a sprite, obviously it's just text that's being drawn to the screen. I'm gonna have a create event. Now I'm going to import some sentences, things we can draw as shown in the demo. Um, they're just movie quotes. So I'm gonna copy paste some things here. Sentences equals DS list create. And here I've got, I'm adding to this DS list sentences. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I'm gonna make him an offer I can't, he can't refuse. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. So that's one from, uh, from Wizard of Oz. Most beautiful things are those that manage prompts and reason rights. Some cool stuff here. So it's going to choose one of these at random to start off with. And then after a certain amount of time, it's going to be printing to the screen one character at a time, including spaces. And we can determine what the time, time is between uh, those keystrokes to make it more realistic. So there's going to be a lot of randomness going on in this video. So I hope you guys are comfortable with that. So firstly, Let's initialize our index. That's where we're starting. That's the first character. No matter which of these sentences we choose, the very first character is always in index zero. Next, let's randomize the seed. It's always good to do before you're about to use GameMaker's random functionality, so always randomize. I'm going to say var i equals i random ds list size uh, of sentences. And minus one. So here I'm actually choosing a sentence. Sentence equals DS list find value of the sentences, uh, DS list, and I is going to be the one we're choosing. So I'm saying minus one because the length of this is well, one, two, three, four, five, say it's 10. But remember, I random is going to choose a value between zero and whatever value I give it, inclusive of that value. So if I put 10 here, it means that there might come a time where I equals 10. And when we try to select that sentence of I equals 10 in here, it's not going to work. Because actually, because we start at zero, the range is zero to nine, which is actually 10 elements. So that's why I'm minusing by one over there, to actually make sure that it doesn't go past the bounds of our DS list. Awesome, so now that we've got the sentence, we've chosen one of these, I want to start this off. So var interval is the amount of time between um, the keystrokes. I'm going to use random range, and I'm going to say something really quick. It's got to be as if someone's typing, perhaps they're not a speed typer, it is a typewriter, it has a, a speed limit. Um, but I don't want it to be too slow either. It doesn't distract and, and, and seem to take too long. It needs to be interesting and... Uh, enjoyable so 0 0.08 I found was really cool and um, well there's that and 0 0.15 which is slightly slower so that's super quick and that's about twice as slow nearly and now to actually do the key presses I'm going to do alarm uh, 0 and I'm gonna say it's room speed times it by that interval so once it could be 0 0.08 it could be 0 0.09 0.1 all the way up to 0.15 is put in here and that's the amount of seconds um, that each keystroke is going to happen. 
So let's save that. Let's go ahead and create a, an alarm zero. I love this tab system. It's blowing my mind as always. <laughs> so there's a few things we want to do. We want to make sure we're not at uh, the end of the sentence. We want to play a sound. We want to increment the index. If we are at the end of the sentence, then let's give a slight pause and restart the game. Pause and restart game. So that's just going to restart the game, select a new sentence, and it keeps going on as in the demo. And obviously you won't have to have that end bit, but perhaps you want to add the pause and then it goes something along the lines of go to another room, perhaps go to the room where the player can now control uh, his unit. So firstly, let's do this one. Make sure we're not at the end of the sentence. So if our index, which starts off at zero, is less than string length of the sentence, Cool. So, so long as we are within the bounds of the length of the sentence, then increment the index. It's going to come over here. So, index plus plus. Then we are going to play the sound. And in order to play the sound, I wanted to choose. So, again, I'm randomizing. And here I'm going to say audio play sound. The sound ID is going to be choose I'm gonna give it one of these SND type one and choose is quite reliable so long as we randomize the seed before two three four five five four three two one and what else did we have in that priority 100 loops false Very good, I'm gonna hide that for now. So it doesn't, it's just one of those. And it has the highest priority. Then again, we need to fire this up again. Obviously there's another character, we're not at the end. So I'm going to say create, grab these last two lines, paste them in again. Just like that, so it's going to restart the alarm in the next 0.08 to 0.15 seconds. And here I've got an else. This is the case where if we're at the end, pause and restart the game. So I'm gonna say alarm one equals room speed times two. So two seconds after we've got to the end of our sentence, it's gonna be pausing. So the user can like fully appreciate what's just happened. And then it's gonna do something else, whatever alarm one says it should do, which we're gonna go ahead and define right here. In my case, I'm just going to say, um, actually, I'm going to say game restart. And that's obviously going to recreate this object, which is going to go through the motions. And it's going to go through the alarms all the way up till it's finished. Then it's going to pause for appreciation and then restart and so on. And that kind of loops until the user is, is fed up with the, with the effect. But in your case, this is where you'll go to the next room. Okay, so now that we've got um, that going, let's actually draw this text to the screen. So we've got the sentence, we know where we are, we now need to take all this information and package it together in a draw event. So firstly I'm going to draw set font FNT main, that's our career new. Next I need to draw set color, I'm going to go for slash Rex Games Lime make color red, green, blue, and that is a 183, 224, 31. I think that's good. And then I'm gonna say draw text, X, Y, it's just, just gonna be wherever I plonk this object. And then I just use string just to make sure there's no errors here when it tries to convert. String copy, so I'm grabbing a copy of the sentence. So that's of whichever sentence is chosen here, see there? But I only want to draw a certain portion of it to the screen. So I want to start at one. Now this might get a little confusing, but string copy actually starts at at one and not zero. Uh, let's see if I can bring up the documentation on this. Here we go. With this function, you can easily select a number of characters from within a string to be copied to another one. So we're not really copying it to another string. We're just 
basically displaying it. So it's outputting the result straight in that draw event. So here it says index is the position of the first character in the string to copy from, numbered from 1. I would have thought this would be numbered from 0. I mean, a string is basically um, just an array of characters. But in this case, they start at 1. So let's just roll with that. So we're starting at 1, and we want to go as far as index. So if index is 5, it's going to show 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And see this draw event is actually always just drawing what it knows this to be. And because of because we're appending to this bit over here and making it longer and longer and longer, we add in the effect, it looks like each character is being drawn one after each other, but that's not really the case. It's all just uh, magical mumbo jumbo. Okay, so that's all good. So we've got everything there. Now let's go ahead and let's create a room. I might have a room already. I do have a room already. Let's go ahead and actually drag this effect into our game world. So I'm just going to put it over there. Um, usually in the movies and stuff, you see it at the bottom. You can use some of Game Maker's um, draw formatting to maybe center it or put it to the left or make sure it doesn't go a certain length. I might actually be revisiting this series to add line breaks so we can type in our sentence and put a special character there which will then create a second instance of the object effect certain pixels down which will then draw out, draw out the remainder of the sentence itself but we can cover that in a more advanced tutorial at a later stage. So that actually uh, wraps everything up with the create, we're choosing a sentence, we're starting off the typewriter alarm one, a zero is then gonna you know make sure we're not at the end if we aren't it's gonna increase our index and it's going to play the sound and it's gonna keep looping this bit this bit is gonna keep looping until this condition fails and in that case it's going to basically restart the room after a one second after a two second sorry delay so I'm gonna save this up and let's go ahead and play it and see what happens and there we have it we just let the system do its thing, it chooses a sentence and it draws it out character by character, obviously not breaking because we have the checks in place to make sure that it doesn't go out of bounds of the array of that sentence within the DS list. So I hope you guys found this tutorial educational and helpful, please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe. I really enjoyed putting together this idea and if you guys have any other really wild and crazy suggestions let me know because I really, I'm really having a lot of fun bringing these to you and I'm sure a lot of you can find it quite useful. If you like this video as well as many of my other videos, please check out my Patreon campaign. I honestly do appreciate your support. Any funds generated through the campaign get put straight back into the channel to make all of this a more enjoyable experience for you, the viewer. You can find the project files straight in the description. So until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.